Hey guys, in today's affiliate marketing tutorial, I'm going to show you a really cool way to make affiliate sales similar to what you can see here on the screen. It's a really, really nice method because it uses only 100% free organic traffic and it is totally passive. This is exactly how I get traffic on several of my sites, uh, like what you can see right here on the screen. Similar amounts of traffic, hundreds and hundreds of daily page views and affiliate clicks and sales. Today I've done something a little bit different. I hope that you like it. Let me know maybe in the comments if you think this is a good format. I've actually sort of done like a full on tutorial uh, where I'm gonna cover all of these things that you can see here on the screen. We're gonna go into detail. I'm gonna show you how affiliate marketing actually works. Some of the examples of successful affiliate marketing websites and campaigns, what to promote, how to promote it. We're going to talk about niche selection, how you can set up domain and hosting, how to find keywords. Then I'm gonna show you some of the best affiliate programs to promote, how to then complete your site, uh, how to publish the content on your site and how to eventually grow your site. So basically what you're gonna to see today is kind of like a course, a whole full-blown course on affiliate marketing from the very start to the very end. So I really hope that you enjoy today's video and let's dive right in. So first thing first, let's go to how affiliate marketing works and actually look at some examples. Just in case you're brand new to affiliate marketing, essentially affiliate marketing, all it is is where you can recommend products via your unique link. And whenever someone buys a product via your unique link, you will get paid a certain amount in commissions, usually a percentage in commissions. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples right now. So let's just say someone is browsing Google and they're looking for something very specific. Let's say they're looking for an iPad holder uh, to help them hold the iPad near where they sleep. So they might be starting to type in different searches into Google such as best iPad holders. Okay, you can see best iPad holders for bed is a popular search term. That's one of the top suggestions that Google actually suggests for us when we type in iPad holders. So best iPad holders for bed. And look, every day there's gonna be thousands of people looking for this thing, right? For best iPad holders for bed and for, of course, various other uh, related gadgets like this. Now, this very first website here, Technical uh, US Dead, I think I'm pronouncing this right. This first website here is an affiliate website and they rank as number one for the search term. Now, uh, this is really, really cool, guys. So just pay attention to this for, for a quick second here. Why is this cool? Well, because of course, like majority of the people that are gonna type that in, they're gonna be clicking on one of the search results on the first page of Google and vast majority will actually click on this first search result. And when they do, they'll get this bunch of information about the best iPad stands uh, in 2021 best iPad stands for bed, okay, like best iPad holders for bed. And guess what? Where there is a little bit of information about each of these iPad holders, there is a button here with the affiliate link that says check price on Amazon. So as someone is reading this website, if they really like this TechMat tablet stand holder, they can actually press this button. And this button is a specially encoded link. So in the bottom of the screen, I'm just gonna zoom in there now. This button is linked via this link, which is the unique affiliate link that the owner of this website um, uses. And whenever someone decides to buy this iPad holder, the owner of that website is going to get paid a commission. And you know, there are affiliate links for all of these recommended holders. And this website, of course, has got dozens, probably even hundreds of pages uh, where they recommend various products. And all of this is 100% passive because Google traffic is free. Uh, Google search traffic is completely passive. That's exactly how I get a lot of traffic to a lot of my websites. And I'm gonna show you today how to do the same, how to get your site ranked, how to find these sort of unique keyword opportunities where there is not a lot of competition, how you can write content that's gonna rank on page one and is going to get you these passive visitors and result in passive sales, passive affiliate sales. So let's do this step by step. Okay, so that brings us to the next point and that is number two here, what to promote. In general, there are two types of affiliate products that you can promote or two main types anyway. One is digital products and digital products are various types of software or various tools or courses that you can promote. 
and in general they pay higher commissions because there is no cost to them and that you can find them on networks such as Clickbank, JVZoo, etc. Right now I'm logged into my account on clickbank.com and you can browse various products that they have here by category on the left hand side. I'm in the health and fitness category and you can see that a lot of their products actually pay really crazy commissions say $100 on average per commission. See this commission over here for Java Burn. So um, a lot of offers on ClickBank do pay really high percentages, 50% uh, of the sale price, 75% of the sale price. That basically means that if you promote one of these products, like let's say this Okinawa Flat Belly Tonic, you can make an average of $151 per sale, which is pretty insane. That's some really, really high commissions. And that is of course because for the owner of this product, everything is digital. You know, it's a course or some kind of a membership website. There is no cost for them to deliver this product. So uh, digital products can be very profitable to promote, but usually there is a little bit more competition with digital products because everyone wants to promote them to make these super high commissions. So the second type of products that you can think of promoting are physical products. And physical products are the products that you can find on Amazon. You can sign up for an Amazon Associates account so you can become an affiliate for Amazon. And if you recommend via your affiliate link anything that is for sale on Amazon, you will get paid a certain amount uh, regardless of what people buy. So sometimes you might recommend a cheap item like toothpaste, for example, but someone lands onto Amazon and they end up buying a flat screen TV and a computer and furniture and you can get paid uh, a percentage commission on the whole of their purchase, not just on the toothpaste. So that's a really cool thing about promoting products on Amazon. Amazon doesn't pay very, very high commissions. I'm just gonna blow this up a little bit. You can see that on most of their categories, they only pay about two or 3%. So for example, here on to toys, furniture, home improvement, lawn and garden, these are the product categories. You only get paid 3%. But as I was mentioning earlier, often what will happen is that someone will end up buying a ton of things uh, during their purchasing experience on Amazon. And if they buy $1,000 worth of stuff or $2,000 worth of stuff, you're gonna get paid this 3% on the whole amount of their purchase, not only just the one purchase that you refer them for. So uh, you can make a lot of money on Amazon despite these very low commissions. Plus the stuff that Amazon sells everyone already needs you don't need to convince the people to buy some kind of a okinawa flat belly tonic that perhaps they don't need you know there is no hard selling people need the stuff that they need to uh, that they want to buy from amazon so it's usually a much easier way to go for someone especially if you're brand new to affiliate marketing just starting out promoting things things on amazon is actually really really powerful so there are uh, absolutely other affiliate networks out there i don't want to bombard you now but there is share a sale there is market health there are a lot of other affiliate networks that sell and deal with physical products but amazon is really easy to get into they accept most of the affiliates so in this video we're just going to focus on amazon physical products next let's talk about how to promote these products how do you actually get the traffic to your affiliate links how do you get people to click your links and buy things via them well in general i recommend to focus on 100 percent free traffic from google search the reason is well Pretty much right there that it's 100 free traffic it's awesome it is completely passive i'm going to show you how to build the kind of websites and how to find keyword opportunities for those websites that can rank on page one in google and will uh, help you get the traffic at zero cost and how to get it to click your links and essentially to make your affiliate commissions as the next step I recommend that you choose your niche. So let's talk a little bit about niche selection. For your first few websites, I would really recommend to focus on a physical niche. So things like various electronic and technical gadgets, baby things, baby stuff like accessories, maybe strollers, pet accessories, etc. And you can take a look at a lot of the things that you can potentially promote by simply just going to Amazon and then looking at the categories on Amazon. So you can either go into best sellers that can give you a good example of what kind of things people are buying right now. And that can just be a really good way for you to sort of discover some things that perhaps you didn't think about, like binoculars, for example, right here, compact binoculars. Binoculars are actually a great niche uh, and a great idea for some of the content that you can put out there. The only niches that I really would recommend for you to not go into so bad niches would be anything that's got to do with money 
or diseases or gambling. Now, the reason for that is that it's very, very hard to rank your website uh, these days uh, for any keywords that are related to money, such as you know how to make money or how to invest money. And it's very, very hard to rank your website for anything that's got to do with diseases. So unless you're a licensed financial professional or a licensed doctor, do not go into any niches that got to do with money, diseases or gambling. It You pretty much, you're going to find it really, really hard to succeed or get any traffic in these niches. So as you browse Amazon, you can, uh, looking for your ideas for your niche, you can go into the departments here on the left hand side, just look at that or you can go and look at bestsellers. That's exactly how I found these um, products here, iPad holders. This is not really something that I even thought of before, but as I was browsing Amazon, I noticed that they look pretty interesting and pretty good. And I checked out some, some statistics on these keywords, which I will show you in just a second. And I realized that this is a really good opportunity, really, really good niche for us to work with. So this is going to be the example that I will run the, with for the rest of this video iPad holders. So next, let's move on to our step number five, which is domain and hosting. So what is all of this about? Well, you need domain and hosting to succeed with this method. You need domain and hosting actually with anything that you do online. So if you're planning to do any kind of affiliate marketing or online marketing, you actually need to have your own website and you need that website has to be hosted somewhere. So uh, I personally use Three services for all of my domains, I register them on Namecheap. And for hosting, I use two services, Host Armada and Cloudway. So Host Armada is a very, very high quality, cheap hosting provider. Cloudways is slightly more expensive, but they are much faster. And all the discount links and coupons for these services are in the description. I actually have got special discount coupons that are exclusive to me. So if you want to get your hosting or your domain, at a discounted rate, then check the links in the description below and use the coupons that are stated there in the description to get your special discounted rates. What is a good domain name? Well, what is a domain, first of all? Domain is just this uh, addressable website that you type into the browser. Namecheap.com is a domain. Travelcroc is a domain. And to help you find a good domain name, you can use a domain name generator. So just type in domain name generator into Google you will find a lot of options. Personally, the one that I've recently used is this one here called Domain Wheel. So if you go into Domain Wheel, you just need to type in some keywords and it will find some domain available domain options for you. And since our niche is going to be uh, tech related, uh, you can type in something like tech stuff, for example, or any couple of keywords into the search bar and search domain and then choose the options here. You want to buy just the .com. That's the best type of a domain. So it will give you some of the uh, suggestions for .com domains with your keywords that are available right now. And look at this, there is actually a really good one here, techstuffguide.com. So techstuffguide.com sounds like a pretty good brand name and a pretty good domain name. So you can go ahead and register this. And to register your domain, you can use uh, this service here, Namecheap. The links to that is in the description below. So you can type in techstuffguide. Dot com like this just verify that it is actually available so I'll just take a moment to calculate yep it is available you can register this domain for about ten dollars us for a year so go ahead and do that and then you will need to get a hosting account if your finances are super super tight then i recommend that you grab host armada take a look at the links in the description below i've got a special discount code that will get you even cheaper prices than what you can get directly on their website uh, so about $3.50 per month uh, when you get your host Amada account. Actually, it's going to be even cheaper. It's about maybe $3.30 or $3.40 if you use uh, my coupon. If you have a little bit more budget, I highly recommend that you go with cloudways.com. This is where I've switched all of my high traffic blogs to. They're a tiny bit more expensive. And the plan on Cloudways that I'm personally using is this one here, Vulture High Frequency. So Vulture High Frequency. I'm on the lowest plan, which is the full price for that is $13 a month. But if you use my special discount code, once again, it's in the description, you can actually get a discount off this plan. Both options are completely fine. So you can totally use Cloudways or Host Armada. They're both great hosting providers. Cloudways just gives you a dedicated server, which basically means that your website is going to be a lot faster. Of course, it costs a little bit more. It's about like 10 or $11 a month that is going to cost you with my discount. 
But of course, you know, $10 a month is still really, really cheap if you are running a business. If you are on a super low budget, go with Host Armada, that's all okay as well. Once you've chosen which hosting service you're gonna use, the next step is for you to install WordPress. I'm not gonna show it in this video, uh, how to install WordPress on Host Armada or on Cloudways, but I will provide links to instruction videos just in the description below, which will explain to you how to install WordPress. And WordPress is a content management software that will allow you to easily manage your website and create content on your website. For example, our travel blog, Travel Croc, runs on WordPress and you can customize the way that your website appears. It's pretty much the standard these days for anyone who wants to start up a website. Most of the websites online these days run on WordPress. So choose and buy a domain, grab your hosting account, install WordPress, and then you'll be ready for the next step of this video. Once you install WordPress on your domain, you'll be up to approximately this point. This is just one of my test websites and you will be able to start actually publishing the content on your site. Once again, just a, sort of as a reminder of what we spoke about earlier on in this video, the type of content that you can publish that will rank for keywords such as best iPad holders for bed is nothing complicated. It's just some text with some images and some links. Anyone can write this content. So even if you have never written a blog before or never created any online content before, don't worry because you can read all of this content if you'd like and you will actually see that there is absolutely nothing complicated here. So even if you are uh, from a country where perhaps English is not your first language, that's totally okay. English is actually not my first language either. I grew up in Russia before I moved to Australia. So don't let this stop you. You can still be very successful with affiliate marketing. So now let's cover this step six, which is finding keywords. So how do you go about finding keywords? And by keywords, I mean things that people type in to Google uh, for which you want to be found, right? So for example, this is a keyword, best iPad holders for bed is a keyword, but there are also tons of other related keywords such as best iPad holders for desk, best iPad holders for Zoom, best iPad holders for FaceTime. These are all separate keyword ideas for which you can create separate pages on your site and each of the pages is going to get a ton of traffic and a ton of sales for you. So you want to obviously create as many of these as possible, but you need to first learn how to find these keywords and what makes them good keywords. For that, I recommend that you use a tool called uh, Hrefs. You can get a $7 trial for seven days for this tool, Hrefs. So just for $7, um, you'll get access for seven days to all of the features. And this way you can, if you have to, and you can't afford to keep the tool, you can of course cancel it before the seven days finishes, but you can do all of your research in these seven days for many months ahead. And that will keep you going. That will give you enough keywords and enough data to actually create your content. So this is their website. And yes, the tool is expensive. The cheapest plan, that's actually the plan that I'm on is $99 a month. But you can see here, there is start trial for $7. So you can totally just start with that. And um, yeah, if your budget is low, you know, by all means, you've got the opportunity to cancel it within the first seven days. Once you're inside Ahrefs, a really cool way to find keywords is to use the Keyword Explorer functionality. And here you can start by giving Ahrefs some initial keywords, and then it will produce additional keywords for you based on your input. So for example, now we kind of know that we want to be in the tech niche, we want to um, go with some stuff related, for example, to cameras or to phones or to iPads. And a good way to get the search started is to type in something like best iPad. Okay, uh, so these are gonna be two keywords. I'm gonna click search. Of course, no one really searches for best iPad. That's sort of like a, a bit of a weird search query, but the reason why I did that is just to pull up the screen so that we can then click under here, under keyword ideas, we can click matching terms. Now, under matching terms, this is now going to give us all of the keywords in the Ahrefs database that have got these two words in them, best iPad. So we're going to get keywords such as best iPad, best iPad deals, best iPad games. So it's basically everything that's got best and iPad in them. And we've got 53,000 different keywords here, which is really, really awesome. And we can now also use the powerful feature within Ahrefs called filters. So for filters, you can set a maximum of keyword difficulty. That's what KD stands for, of seven. 
that will bring up all of the keywords that are very easy even for a brand new website to rank for. Ahrefs does all of these calculations for you. And for volume, you also want to probably put in a volume of minimum, let's say 80 searches per month. Now, 80 searches per month is the minimum that I personally go for when I use this model. And look at this, we're now down to 80 keywords, okay? And these are all of the keywords that for whatever reason, no one has just created enough content for that gives you a really great opportunity to create your content for and you will have a really good chance of ranking on page one on Google. If we keep going down this list, you will actually see that there are some keywords that um, sound like keywords that we want to produce content on such as best iPad tripod. Okay, that's one of them. There is also the keyword that we talked about before best iPad holder for bed. Uh, so there's two opportunities, two ideas sort of for articles that you can produce. You can produce one article about best iPod, iPad tripod and one for best iPad holder for bed. There is another one just below, best iPad mini to keyboard case. So um, you can, you know, you can see how easy it is to generate all of these ideas. And the good thing, of course, is that all of these ideas uh, can be published on your website and they have low keyword difficulty. Once I find a keyword that I think looks good, I do a little bit more validation on it. So let's take a closer look at this best iPad holder for bed keyword. I'm just gonna click on it to bring up some more uh, information on it. This screen is a dedicated screen for this particular keyword, best iPad holder for bed. And the bit that I really like to look into in, in a bit more detail is this one here, SERP overview. So SERP overview stands for um, search engine result page. Okay, and here are the top 10 websites that are currently ranking in the top 10 results for best iPad holder for bed. Generally on the top 10 results, I look at two things. This here called AR. So AR actually stands for, if you mouse over, you, you will see this same pop-up. It says Ahrefs rank, okay? AR is Ahrefs rank, and that shows the strength of a website's backlink profile compared to the others in the database. So basically what you want to see is you want to see some websites here where AR is over 1 million or over 2 million. So if a website has got an AR of 2.8 million, it means it's a pretty weak website. There is another website here with AR of 7.8 million, which means that it's even weaker than this website here of 2.8 million. And there is another website here with 2.1 million. So they are all relatively weak websites that are not sort of large, uh, you know, corporate websites like Best Buy or PC Magazine or something like that. They are kind of like um, more, you know, mom and dad, dad blogs or individual blogger blogs. And if I see some of them on page one, that's a really good sign because it means that this keyword is not super competitive. The next thing that I want to do is I want to open up some of these articles that are coming up, especially the ones on these weak websites. So I'm gonna open up this 2.8, 7.8, and 2.1. And I'm going to count how long their content is. This will just give me an idea for how long my content need to be in order to be able to rank on page one. So let's take a quick look here. Just going to select all of these. I've got a extension installed called Word Counter. It's just called Word Counter. It's a Chrome extension. So I can see this content is 1,783 words. So not too long, okay, less than 2,000. Let's take a look on this website, how long their content is. It's gonna select all of this, count these words. Again, less than 2,000 words. And then take a look on this last one. Okay, and this one is only 761 words, guys. So howtoisolve.com, 761 words. This is very short content by today's standards. So it's this last website here. That's probably why it's ranking last. So Google actually likes super long and detailed content. And if you can produce content that is longer than the other articles from weak websites, then you'll have an excellent chance of ranking on page one. So here I know that one has got less than 2000, this one is less than 2000, and this one is less than 1000. So to me, that means that if I produce content that's maybe 3000 words, I can, and that's, that's gonna be a very detailed ultimate guide type content, I'll have a really good chance of ranking on page one 
for this particular keyword term. We've done all of our analysis here. We know that the keyword difficulty is easy. We've analyzed the competition. This, this gives uh, us a very, very high chance of succeeding with this website. So just to sort of uh, re recap on the criteria that we talked about before, you want to see at least two sites where this AR is higher than 2 million. So something like 3 million or 4 million or 5 million is really, really good. It means that that website is weak. And you also want to see at least two articles on those websites with short content under 2000 words. So in the example that we just went through, both of these conditions are satisfied and that means we can go ahead with this keyword. Okay, so let's move on to the next step, which is step seven. This is just a very quick step to, all this is about is just making sure that there are actually affiliate programs that you will be able to promote down the track. So um, you'll find some programs I recommend to not apply yet because if you've only just built your website, your website has got no content. If you apply for affiliate programs, they want to see that your website actually has got some content before you go ahead and start promoting them. Uh, how do you find affiliate programs? Well, generally you can find them from, your, from, from checking what your competitors promote. So if you go on to take a look at, at producing content for best type at holders for bed, well, have a look at what sort of content your competitors promote. We know that for this particular keyword, uh, your competitors have got links to Amazon. Okay, so you can go ahead and register for the Amazon affiliate program. So type in amazon.com affiliate program. That'll take you to this page called Amazon, Amazon Associate Central. Click sign up and uh, you will be able to actually go ahead and, and sign up for it. Now, do not do this step yet. That's for later because right now you just want to make sure that there actually is an affiliate program. If you apply right now, you may get rejected by Amazon because Amazon uh, may go and check your site uh, and they might see that there is not a lot of content. But at least for now, you know that there is an affiliate program and that you'll be able to apply for it later once your website is a bit more established. So once you've found some programs and once again, do not apply just yet, uh, you can move on to the next step, which is step eight, and that is publishing the content. So we can now start actually creating the content that will start pulling in the visitors, start ranking in Google search for you. The guidelines for content creation are to publish at least 2000 words, but you want your content to be significantly higher than other content on weak websites. So in our example here, we know that uh, there are three weak websites. One has got two, about 1700 words, about 1800 words, and one has got 800 words, okay? So in this case, I would go ahead and, and prepare an article that's probably two and a half or 3000 words. This way it will be longer than the competitor's content. Make sure that you produce amazing content, best out there. Don't copy and paste content from other websites. You need to write that content in your own words. And do not insert any affiliates, affiliate links just yet. I'm gonna show you step by step how to create the content right now. I'm now logged into my website and this is what the dashboard of WordPress would actually look like. So to create a new post on your website, you need to go here, go posts and add new. And you can now start creating the content based on the keyword that you have selected. We know that we're going to be targeting the keyword best iPad holder for bed. So we can paste that in here and that's going to pretty much be the title of our post. And this is how Google will actually know what the main keyword and what the main topic of our post is going to be. Uh, and we can call it something like this, best iPad holder for bed ultimate guide. And then we can go and start typing out the content. A lot of you will probably go, okay, well, what is the content? Like how, do I know nothing about iPad holders for bed. What do I even start writing about? Well, it's kind of like doing a school assignment. I started this way as well. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not writing, uh, you know, a scientific paper. All you need to do is just research a bit of information and write it in the words that you would use to explain this to your friend in an email, for example. So you can just type that in, best type at holders for bed, and take a look at what other people are writing about, and then uh, rewrite their content in your own words. So for example, you may open up this search result, and you might just read the first couple of paragraphs, see how they've done it. It says, do you know why we're the experts in this? Because we sleep with our tablets ourselves, etc., etc., etc. Um, so they can sort of say, okay, well, they've written approximately this, so I'm just gonna write a similar thing, but in my own words. So I've just written a short intro here, just a couple of lines, but that gives you an idea on what sort of stuff you can write. You basically get inspiration from other posts, see what they have written about, and then write something similar in your own words. 
Uh, most posts will be structured uh, like this, where there is some introduction and then they will actually start talking about the models. So, okay, so here are the best iPad holders. Okay, number one, this is the model. Number two, this is the model. And you should do the exact same thing. So write your introduction and then actually talk about the model. So for example, you can then uh, choose a different block, some block. So I'm gonna click plus and choose a heading. So if you type in heading, that will just create a different subsection for you. So here I'm going to say number one and then put in the model. Okay, we can uh, put in like similar models, for example, b -Land cell phone holder. Okay, we're going to write about this same model as well, b -Land cell phone holder. And then we're going to write our own description of it. So how do we find out a little bit more about the description? Well, you can click on this affiliate link and that will open up the Amazon page for it and you can get all of the description here, okay? You can also read this review, you can read other reviews online and combine all of this information and put it in your own words into your blog post over here. Then you're going to go ahead and add a different heading. So once again, we'll go heading and then you're gonna put in two and then name of the, the device number two, whatever the name of that second iPad holder is. So go ahead and create um, your content. You can always check how many words you have written by going into information over here. So right now we've got 56 words. Okay, you just need to uh, write about two and a half or 3,000 words and that won't take you long at all. It takes sort of a few hours to produce each of these posts. So, and you know, you will get better. Uh, the more of these you publish, the better you will get at it. So go ahead and do that. Uh, do not insert affiliate links yet. First of all, you're probably not approved with Amazon or with any other affiliate networks. And um, second of all, you know, you just don't have enough content on your site to start applying for this yet. We're gonna do that at a later stage. Okay, well, um, now what you will need to do is to sort of complete your site. And by complete your site, I mean this, you need to publish about 10 articles. Um, the reason why I'm saying that 10 articles is, is a good amount of content is because it will make your site look a little bit fuller than, let me just save this draft and uh, I will show you. It will make your website kind of look a bit more complete, you know, because when you apply for those affiliate links, uh, someone from the merchants team will take a look at your site and if they see that there is some content that will kind of look better than if you just apply and there is no content at all. So go and publish some of these uh, articles, about 10 is good. And after that, you can actually apply to affiliate program. So at that point in time, you can come back to Amazon affiliate program, click sign up, and you will need to provide all of your information. So your email, your password, but they will also ask you for the link to your website where you're planning to promote uh, these products. And this is where you can insert the link to your product. And once you're approved, you can go ahead and start inserting links into your articles, okay? So then you will go back to your 10 articles and you can start inserting the links and here is how to do that. So let's say you want to insert a link for this product here, which is one of the products we've written about, b -Land cell phone holder. Okay, you can search for this product or you can actually take a product ID, which is just here in the link. I like to work with this product ID, so we're just going to grab this, it, it, comes here after DP slash. Okay, so let's copy that. And in your Amazon Associates account, you'll want to scroll down here and where it says search for, uh, so go into product linking, product links. And when it says search for any product, this is how you create a link that will take the person straight to that product. So going to put in that affiliate, uh, that product ID over here, click go. This is that cell phone holder that we want to promote, right? Uh, which is good. So now you can click this button here, which says get link. And that will create a link for you, which you can then insert into your website. So you can see that now we can produce a link that will make it look like this. So what I need to do is uh, where it says get HTML code for this product link, All right? I want to highlight this HTML. I want to right click, click copy, and now we can insert it into our website. So how do we do this? We'll need to go back into our post and just where you want to put that buy link, uh, go to that area of the post and click the plus button and choose to insert HTML because we've now got the HTML copied from Amazon and I'm gonna insert this as HTML. Okay, so this is now inserted and if we publish this post, all right, once we've got this post published, we can actually preview this post and you will see that now there is 
that Amazon link, all right? So once you've got all of your information at the bottom, put a call to action to say, click to check the best price. You can always take a look at exactly how other people do that, okay? And set up your wording of your uh, that surrounds your affiliate link in exactly the same way. So info here, and this is your affiliate link now on your website. So whenever someone lands onto your site, they will be able to click your affiliate link and that affiliate link will take them via your unique tracking link to Amazon. And of course, if they buy this or buy, in fact, anything else on Amazon within the first 24 hours after clicking your link, you will get credited with a commission for it. What do you do after that? Well, after this, you basically just repeat the process and I will explain to you what to expect. This is where you enter the stage where you really need to grow your site. So once you're approved for your affiliate links and uh, you have published some articles, you need to continue publishing the content. A website generally starts to, to pick up and start getting traffic after you publish about 20 to 30 articles. That's when you start seeing initial results. Don't expect that you're gonna make three posts and you're going to retire. That's just not going to happen because um, even though you publish content on very low competition phrases, Google needs to get to know your site. It generally takes about two to three months and between 20 to 30 articles before you start getting some initial traffic. You really then need to continue sticking to this process. Um, blogging is not something that can kind of happen overnight like this, but it is very passive because on all of my websites that are currently actively running, I might not touch them for two or three or six months, post no content, but they continue getting traffic and they continue getting sales. So um, keep publishing 20 to 30 articles, you're gonna get initial results, but you really need to work towards having dozens and then eventually hundreds of articles on your site, just like this website here that we looked at before. If you take a look at the kind of content that they publish and how much content they have published, they have published dozens and dozens of articles. This is how you create passive income. This is how you passively make these affiliate sales through affiliate marketing. Well, now you know this really, really cool way of making money with affiliate marketing. Now, if you want to quickly get a ton of traffic to this website with these affiliate reviews and affiliate links, then make sure to watch this video right here. It will show you how to get a ton of traffic to your website very, very quickly. The links to my affiliate marketing course is in the description below. Make sure to smash like and comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.